player don't do good. And when you don't do good, well, you're kind of lackluster. So we'll see how well No-Tail pulls off this uh, early farming phase. It's going to be risky for him. It does smell like Secret are going to be running some kind of aggressive lane here because it doesn't make much sense to put Venomancer as well. They might be looking to pick up Resolution here. Is this a Korea Snipe? Whoa, it is a Korea Snipe. Puppy! Papa, no, Papa, no! Okay. Oh boy. That was, uh... That was, that was not good. And you deny the range creep from your mid laner. I, I'm not sure about that. You gave one to Jerex. This is a reverse sacrifice. But meanwhile, they do get the middle lane here. Mid one is gonna be happy he got that one because he just got himself denied a range creep. Oh, and Jarek's got that rage key. He's gonna be thanking himself for that. All right, thanks. Meanwhile, has made his way down to the bottom, so it's gonna be off lane Weaver and uh, safe lane Venomancer. So, oh, well, taking a lot of hits here from that faceless void. The Gale goes across, attacks too, which is great. Jumps forward from No Tail. No Tail goes for the punish. Gets a lucky bash. But hey, you make your own luck here as Venomancer just squiddles up to them and offers his life over. So that is gonna be fly. It actually takes the kill. But uh, a kill already going to mid one's way. Ooh, wow, getting a snipe here on the Weaver as well without any dust. How's uh, how's the net worth looking so far? As about well? less than a K worth of net worth for OG. And uh, the CS does favor mid one as uh, you expect it would. You know, that guy being very mechanically high level here. And especially getting that early kill on that Death Prophet. Gotta give him a huge advantage in lane. Oh, Jerex, gonna meet the... Gonna meet some fools here in the middle lane. Oh, not in the bottom lane. Oh, it's gonna get a very short snowball. Unfortunately, might cost him his life. Jarek's gonna run away. He's penitenced up. He pops his stick charges. Gonna have to right click fly over to him. It's from Chen that will bring him down. It's killing spree going over to Papan. 250 gold. Got a bit of coffers. Oh, here comes Papan. But he does walk into a range creep. S4 knows what's up. Doesn't have mana for Firefly, but has the soul ring for that. Can cut a little bit of his life away for that mana. They're wrapping in, but this is dangerous. It's a tier 1 tower, and you are looking at a potential TP rotation. Here comes the rotation. Who's it gonna come in? Yep, it's the Lich. And the shots! Oh, traps and Puppy! Puppy is in deep trouble now. But oh, that's a good Fate Bolt that goes around. Reduces the right-click damage. It does matter in close fights like this. Jarex beats a little bit with the Snowball. Chen is down. He's roasted up. He's well done right now, Puppy. Served on a platter as Ace. Oh, Jarex! <laughs> Denied so far and uh, keeps the you know kill ball kill score competitive as for well, Mike and Dove upon again they're trying to contest the tier one last hit Cardi the catapult does secure that soften that tower enough for Ace to get on and now as for gonna be in a little bit of trouble all right good stuff you might have got himself in deep here yep so zaps him down from the sky and that's gonna be a kill here OG supports abandoning all right. Keeping things interesting. OG resolution. How's he looking at? Let's switch over the net worth uh, for a little bit. Mid one sitting at 3.6k. OG looking to change that one with a quick rotation from S4. Is that going to be a quick bounce back? Oh, here comes the Lich, the Frost though. This is going to be tricky. Mid one getting caught up, but a nice drop back here. But mid one is roasting hot and fast. But he is actually going to pick off uh, S4 there. Yepsol with a great kill, but a nice haste rune is going to ensure that Yepsol falls as well. Here comes Puppy, but unfortunately, Puppy came into the wrong neighborhood. No Tail getting a bash on his first hit there. Doing do some major damage and getting a second bash as well. It's level four after all. That's what it's for. Resolution. Saki, Saki. Ace, but it just walked into a little bit too much firepower. The fishies are coming in here, and Ace might just sleep with the fishes soon enough here if he's not careful. Resolution does have a lot of backup at his beck and call, and a light left tap. No big problems there. Meanwhile, Puffner has pushed himself pretty far forward there. Gets the jump forward. No chronosphere. Yep, so getting gripped up. I mean, getting caught up. Oh, that's a chain frost you don't want to send back to your friend. Mid one getting a suck here on No Tail, but unfortunately, No Tail is pretty damn tanky and not going to go down and pass 10 to Yep, so. But uh, I think Hook smells a little bit of a rat here. Ace. Coming in, smells a fly as well. Once again, sells some of that old oh, juicy stuff. But fly in a lot of uh, non trap uh, Tuckna is the one actually in trouble himself. The Chrono was stolen here. No tail gives that big ultimate away. Could be bad. Traps his own buddy. See, but he traps Ace as well. That's not what you want to have. Oh, that's the time works away. But unfortunately, more than five seconds has passed, so he barely gets anything away. But No Tail gets the lie sucked out of him mid one, giving him. The sucky sucky, but meanwhile S4 and Jarek successfully assassinate the Venomans at the top and now we're gonna look back to the bottom lane as they look. We'll have to show that guy some respect here. 
Meanwhile, Ace gonna get scouted out by uh, oh, Jarex. Gonna get scouted out by Ace. Reaver just going in a little bit. I'm not sure they can kill him yet, so it doesn't have any kind of real movement potential there. No tail. Okay, he's jumping in. Gets the lift across. There's the fade ball as well. Could well potentially be a kill here on Jarex. But, uh, oh, Ace is in a lot of trouble. The Hand of God comes out. Puppy with the life saves. Oh, a bash here from no tail. Could have potentially been lethal, but it's not gonna be enough there. As mid one blasts the Tasca from the low ground. That eighth lens. Still not kicking in, but it is about to. Good stuff here. Oh, no tail. Thinking about a kill here. Oh, you don't want to mess with... No, 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 no. No tail, get out of there. You don't want to mess with mid one. He's got a lot of farm. Okay, bring in your friends. Yeah, beat up the small guy. Oh, can they get a mid one? Does he have any friends coming in? There's going to be Weaver coming in. He's going to try, but I don't think this is going to be successful. Go, go for the drain. The stun is going to be there. And life drain hasn't cooled down yet, but no tail. Ne nearly losing his life there. Oh, there's the veil coming in again. GRX. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that range. Mid one dries up GRX, you can almost say. And, uh, you know, that little change to life drain giving vision now just makes it so much better at full health. So that, that little gank there did almost nothing. Oh, yep, so gonna get gripped up and here comes Resolution. Ready to pound here, but that's a hand of God that's gonna keep him alive. Resolution, nope, gonna get brought down that turn rate a little bit problematic. But now here comes the Sucky Sucky. How'd you like that, Death Prophet? Sucks him out and now he goes. Big kill here from mid one once again, but Ace sniped the last hit now on Gustav trying to run away. Slowed down by the Venomancer so far. Is he gonna get caught out? There's no detect, uh, there's no cancellation, and yeah, no stun gaming. S4 gets himself tased up. Blink backwards from mid one. But this potential snipe from Renotio. Can he redeem himself? Hold oh, it, jump forward! They're gonna leap it onto Bad Rider. S4 in trouble as well. Meanwhile, no tail. Losing mana, minus 3.3. I'm gonna laugh if he gets burnt out of mana range. This is gonna be ridiculous. I doubt it will happen, but oh, here he comes. Oh, that's a good karma mid one with the quick reflexes. Jumps out of the globe and now gonna look for no tail, but unfortunately, life drains on cooldown. He's able to do out most of his burst. Venomancer coming in with the blade mill. The time, no, well, with the hand of God there, keeping everyone alive for a longer time. Here comes S1, jumps forward. All the Jarek shots off the mark there. Man, oh, mid one gets the suck ready, but a nice save here from Jarek. Brings him right onto Puppy, but S4 taking a lot of damage here from Ace. A big high DPS Weaver here with the Dragon Lens and the. Diffusal Blade, they get three heroes down, Faces Void, and the Death Prophet, the only ones to remain. And we could be looking at Raxus here as mid one pounds the tower with the Death Blast, Nether Blast, and uh, still has the Aegis on him. No Tail has the Veil up the pipe. Yeah, he has got Inside Aura, 4 HP per second. Don't laugh at that one. Oh, a nice rune. Gonna come in here and a good stun as well. Down goes the Faces Void. The buyback here from S4. Gonna try and bail someone out. That's a good time dilation. Locks down the Wheelers. Um, Sukuchi preventing him from. Uh, juking away, and as a result there, they will have to force the, they are forced to back off, or are they? Partner does have boots of travel, he is really fast, very... Let's see, let's see it. Oh, here comes the blast, mid one, oh, gotta get pulled in, uh, let's hope that Aegis doesn't time out on you, does Roshan give you that, uh, betrayal? Five, four, no tail, just gonna drop the globe, not taking chances, you're stealing it, maybe? Oh, I think mid one's dead, dead, dead to rights there, they got him. And that is a very big one to lose as well. But mid one buying back into the fight here. The Chronosphere is down. He's gonna blink backwards. All right, where's he blink to? All right, he's blink backwards. Set up his big trap ward. He has that life drain, so he has that big burst on command here. This arm coming out there as well zips out of range. So that's gonna be on cooldown for a while. No tail doesn't have his ultimate now. I'm not sure if he wants to play around here anymore long. And uh, no tail gonna run away. Meanwhile, they ball in onto Ace. The silence is there. It's gonna be a big amount of damage, but no tail is forced up to the high ground now. The exorcism is running low. It's about to time out. It does time out. The fishes go back to Rezo. Raxes are in danger here. The buyback here from mid one could be strategically beneficial here if they do get Raxes. They have the menagerie. Like we said, the granite golem is there. Okay, uh, hook. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. Forced out. Jump forward. They do have Jarrett in a precarious position. Let's jump forward, but No Tail does use his ability to run away. Uh, that run away. Uh, that allows him to run away to jump into the fight, and as a result, realizes it was a mistake. Gets himself punished, brought down, and now he's dead for 40 seconds without buyback. And Secret might just claim the first melee rex here. The melee rexes will be glyphed up. Resolution. Frost armor. Gonna try and hammer away here, but without the, the Shiva's guard, you know, he's not even dead tank. Yes, got frost armor. Alright, they got ace. Are they gonna be able to do that? Nice this arm there. Unfortunately, I'm not sure this is gonna be doing much good. A life drain safe here for mid one. That's why he wasn't dying there. The lifeline, the ICU that is mid one, 
keeps this carry alive. And with that Granite Golem, that's just so much sustain. This Weaver always having that lifeline there. Mid one of the plays once again there. Looking towards that Aghanim Scepter. No, it's going to be a Bloodstone here for mid one. So he's going to keep that uh, life drain at a non Aghanim's version. Very interesting because when you're trying to make plays with your life drain, you want to have that on the zero second cooldown. But still, a big big win for that make no mistake the melee rexes fall the, the creep coming in there it's gonna take down that bottom one as well this game not shaping out well for og is almost like a reflection of a uh, you know, play standard almost secret and the driver's seat and uh well og og sitting around not willing to make any executive decisions. Oh, maybe Hook is going to be the plan here. Uh oh, going to get caught out here. Mr. Gustav in trouble. Going to go for the TP, but that's a new scepter to stop that in his tracks. And uh, S4's TPing days are over. And here comes mid one. This is going to be the vacuum of a lifetime. <laughs> Gets him sucked dry. And now Roshan is uh is is in danger. Without S4, you have Chrono Spear to you know play a little bit of disruption here, but it's it's going to be risky to play without your Batrider. We'll see if they do it here. Ace, that's the BKB. That's a lot of potential. Real resistance here. Double damage on Weaver as well. This could be potentially disastrous. Jumping back for the back line. Lich gonna get decrept up by mid one. I'm still waiting for that Chrono Spear. Good hand of God here from Puppy. Buys more time. Rezzo, very tanky. No Tail jumping for the Chrono. Gets a good one. No Tail locks things down, but he doesn't have the damage here. He's not doing enough damage here. Oh, silence up. This Weaver. He's running out of mana. No Tail with the mana burst doing just enough. And the. Wow. So much damage coming out from Rezo there, being able to stay alive despite all that damage being focused on him and as a result getting out of there in time. Great faces for Chrono there, no tail, give credit where it's due. Landing a big one for the team there. Okay, my has just given that one away. Whoa, where did he go? Middle one shows him a magic trick. Golem this time, but he's playing slow chicken right now. What time's the Aegis? Oshan respawned in three minutes, so he got 25 seconds left on his Aegis. Right? If we'll take... Oh no! Faces Void! This could be trouble! Oh, Zap! Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, Hook, meanwhile, though, really going hard on No-Tail. No-Tail dropping fast! Zap! Avada Kedavra! <laughs> Goodbye, No-Tail. He'll have to buy back here if they want to hold on to this Rags. I don't think they can hold it without him. 50 seconds. 45 seconds. Resolution. Mid one. Zap the tower. Oh, that's the lift up to get throw him down, maybe? Yeah, they can. They throw him down. He's out of position. This arm slow. Look at that. All that armor doing little as you get zapped up. They're forced to pop the second shrine here. Resolution taking damage here. Gotta be careful. Has to be super careful. Here comes No Tail. Time Guy is back. And is he gonna be able to make things out of his S4? Lasso something else? I don't know what he lasso there. What did he lasso? I didn't see that. Okay, Lasso Venomancer, maybe. Now there's the Chronosphere. Locks down Rubik. Is he absorbs Rubik? He's gonna get decrypted fine. He's gonna get the kill there. Yo Scepter, gonna buy some time. Will he blink away in time? Four staff? No, he actually time walks away using Faces Boy's magic against him. But no, this is not gonna happen. Maybe it will. Throws him backwards. Jumps away. Yabzor the Magician. Does he get away? Oh, he gets slapped down. That's gonna be unfortunate. He gets brought down. A long, wrong range of cact here. We'll get the job done. But oh, mid one getting silenced and chased down here by the... By the Exorcist, Resolution runs out of it, but here comes the full heal here from Chen, and now Resolution gets the table turn on him, getting dizzy here. Resolution, getting forced back, but that's the blast, so much damage here from mid one, the Saki from long range, Ace gets the snipe, no tail, forced to back off, can't afford to die again without buying back, his Diffusal Blade out of batteries, Fly, gonna get brought down as well, he gets himself chopped to bits as Ace, or rather not chopped to bits, he gets swarmed over by Weaver. Somehow, secrets stay behind in kill score, but are on the precipice of winning this game. OG, 25-23 right now. Forced to buy back on the TP, even without the ultimate. Have to buy back here, make something happen out of it. Resolution, going for the Soul Siphon. Secret, really want to force this game 3 here. Puppy, this is the carry chant. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope, nope, you don't mess it. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Goodbye, no till 69 seconds on the sidelines. Hey, hey, hey. Resolution. Now gonna try his best here. Five seconds exorcism. Can he stay alive? The answer is no. Sakuchi touches him. He's buyback is off cooldown. No, it's on cooldown. He's without buyback. Asphalt goes down. Has the buyback, but without any players left on the board, I think they're about to tap out and go to game number three. Lich about to return. Jerex is here almost, but without no tail, without your exorcism, Death Prophet. This just looks like an impossible task. No tail calls GG. It's over. We're here.
Going on to game number three, guys. Again, the admins did not set the score right. It is 1-0 in favor of OG, but now they tie up the score. We got ourselves a full series, as expected from two great teams, and I am excited. Hopping over into game number three here. Team Secret sure put up a show here. The Green Brothers, I really...